An EF3 tornado that tore through Taylor County killed at least one person and devastated 70 homes as severe weather ripped through the community during the overnight hours Friday. Adam Berniston was there today and talked to a family that took a direct hit. The Thompson family say they're lucky to be alive as they woke up just in time to seek shelter as a tornado tore into their area. My phone lit up and my sister said that it was on the ground and it was headed this way and it wasn't, what, a couple minutes after that? One very long. We were able to make it to the bathtub. They say while it passed by quickly, the sound was as loud as a freight train as their house was ripped apart. You could physically feel I mean, the house moving, and it was almost like a vacuum type of, you could just feel pressure. And once things calmed back down, the Thompsons say they could hear cries for help piercing through the night. We heard people across the road, but we couldn't, we couldn't get out. We couldn't get to them. Now on Sunday, National Weather Service officials were in this area conducting surveys and they found preliminary that an EF3 tornado is the cause to all of this destruction. You know, we're just very thankful. I mean, you know, you can look around all this and great big trees just snap. We got out basically without a scratch. And while they pick up the pieces of their life left behind, they say their hope has been restored thanks to all those reaching out to help. The outpour of the community, the neighbors, friends and family has just been overwhelming. In Taylor County, meteorologist Adam Burneson for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. It could take several days for other surveys to be done, but officials say the tornado in Taylor County is likely the same one that tore through the Bowling Green area.